your average. Now, the last question is probably something you hear quite often, especially after midterm. What's your average? What is this number that will help me justify how smart you are? This number that's going to help distinguish the nerds of the classroom. It's like a salary. Salaries help determine your social status, and similarly in schools, grades distinguish the smart kids and not so smart kids. And although this is completely wrong, it is somewhat true. You see, in middle school, I never remembered asking anyone what their average was. It wasn't a concern at the time. It didn't really matter because all I wanted to do at the time was to learn, eat my sandwich, go outside the recess, and play on the green grass. Okay, that sounds too good to be true. You might want to exclude the green grass. The grass wasn't green. <laughs>
to drop out of college? Drop out because they don't know how to study and the strategies they devise on their own don't work. <coughs> now imagine. Imagine yourself sitting in a classroom and there's a kid in your class. Let's name him Ethan. Sorry to all Ethan's in the audience, this isn't about you. So, Ethan's in your class and you almost take your test back. But there's also Jack in your class. Now Jack? He's the class bully, and he received a better mark than Ethan. Jack is now bullying Ethan because of the mark he receives and calling him names like dummy and whatnot. Will you just sit there and watch what will happen, or will you stand up to Ethan? I mean to Jack. Many of you might not know the answer, but is it fair to bully someone because of a mark they received? Put yourself in Ethan's shoes, how would you feel? A mark is just a number, and it doesn't justify how smart someone might actually be. Ethan might be a genius, and maybe that class wasn't his strong point. Now imagine a school where there aren't any gaps between students. All level students being treated equally and learning together. There's no gaps between AP, academic, applied, locally developed. Everyone's learning from each other. A school where everyone can feel smart and successful. A school where every student feels confident. Now that's my dream school. A school with zero gaps between all these level students and learning together. But that's only possible if we change our mindsets. Now don't get me wrong. Grades really matter. But that shouldn't be something you're stressed about. If you understand what you learn and work hard, then grades will automatically come. Now don't leave today that school no longer matters. Don't go home today to tell your parents that you don't need to study for an upcoming test because it's random no sense so far from school. Because that's not what I said. Leave today with a new goal. Leave today with a new mindset towards school. Leave today feeling intelligent and leave today thinking of ways you can enhance your high school experience. Getting involved is the best way to gain experience. Me and myself, you should definitely join TEDx. Amazing club. Wouldn't be here without it. <laughs> Not literally. They organize the entire event. But sports teams, clubs, initiatives, and all the above are amazing ways to gain experience. Volunteering is also a great way to gain experience at Earth's 40 hours. I can name an endless list of things you can do, 